Let me ask you something. If you put a few frozen pizzas in the freezer, does that mean you're okay with your favorite restaurant burning down? Didn't think so. That's exactly why TSMC's Arizona Fabs won't change the American calculus when it comes to defending Taiwan. They're just the backup snacks, not the main kitchen. And Washington still very much wants that kitchen up and running, because losing Taiwan isn't just about semiconductors. It's about losing the entire Pacific chessboard. Now this question came from Guitar Gears and MJ Gan, two of my awesome channel members. And here's the thing: if you are a member, you get priority on your questions. I give detailed video responses like this one. So if you want your name here. Where Guitar Gears and MJ Gan are, smash that join button. So let's clear this up. The Arizona Fabs—they are like the emergency snacks in your pantry. They might keep you fed for a little while, but they're never going to run a global tech empire. Right now. Taiwan still produces over 90% of the world's most advanced semiconductors. We're talking chips at five nanometers and below. The Arizona Fabs—they are starting at four and five nanometers, maybe eventually moving to three. But by the time they do, Taiwan will already be pumping out. Two nanometers and beyond. You know that's like trying to win Formula One with last year's car. Overseas TSMC plants are strategic outposts, not the mothership. They're built for、uh, political insurance and supply chain resilience, not to replace Taiwan as the center of the. Chip universe, the cutting edge R and D, the bleeding edge process technology, the best engineers in this area—they are all still in Taiwan. And until you can airlift an entire tech ecosystem and decades of talent to Arizona, Taiwan remains the beating heart of the global semiconductor industry. The U.S. military, the Wall Street, Silicon Valley—they all know it, and Beijing knows it too. Which is exactly why Taiwan's fabs are still the crown jewel everyone is willing to fight for. And let's remember, Taiwan is much more than just advanced chips. If China takes Taiwan, it's game over for the first island chain. You know that's the line of defense from Japan all the way down to the Philippines. It's like handing your enemy the high ground in the middle of a battle. The U.S. wouldn't just lose access to cutting-edge chips; it would lose strategic control over the Pacific. And the Pentagon would rather fight a war 100 miles off China's coast. Than six thousand miles from the west coast. Also, don't underestimate the politics. The American public might not be able to point to Taiwan on a map, but once Fox News and CNN start running B-roll of Chinese tanks、uh, rolling through Taipei, every senator is suddenly going to be a Taiwan hawk. It's political suicide to look weak against Beijing right now. TSMC in Arizona isn't going to change that. If anything, it's proof that the U.S. knows the stakes and is prepping for the worst. So no, the Arizona fabs don't change the calculus. They are a safety net, 
not a replacement for Taiwan. America still has every reason, strategic, military, economic, and political, to defend Taiwan. And if you want more deep dive answers like this, straight from member questions, join the channel. You'll get your questions bumped to the top of the list, and I'll tear into them on video. Guitar Gears and MJ Gan, thanks for the question. China, if you're watching, the Arizona Fab is not your free pass.